Hello everyone, it's Lola here again. I welcome you all to my kitchen. So today I've got some overripe bananas in the house and I thought the best thing to do is just to show you how I make my banana bread. So let me show you how. The first thing I like to do is just to grease my loaf pan with some butter and I also dust it all around with a little bit of flour just like this. To make things a little simpler, you can just spray it with some cooking spray. So once you are done with that, just set it aside. The next thing I'm going to do is to add all my dry ingredients together. And this is just my flour, baking powder, baking soda and salt. Give this a good mix and set it aside as well. Now I'm going to be mashing my bananas and I always like to use my hand mixer for this. It's more convenient for me. However, you can mash this with a potato masher. Even a fork will work just as well. So I'll also be setting this aside. What I like to do at this point is to cream my butter and my sugar together. Creaming this will make the banana bread light and fluffy and it will also give the bread a finer texture. And this is what I always like in my banana bread. So once you've creamed this for about a minute or two, it's now time to start adding the eggs. And I'm going to be doing this one at a time so that the mixture can thicken and emulsify before I add the next one. I also like to add my vanilla extract at this point and sometimes depending on my mood or the season of the year I also like to add some warm spices like cinnamon or nutmeg for that distinct flavor. At this point I'm going to be combining everything together and I'm going to be adding half of the flour first. I'll be folding this in with my spatula. And once that is about combined, I'll be folding in the mashed bananas. And finally, I'm going to be folding in the remaining flour. And if you like, you can fold in your chocolate chips, raisins, nuts, or whatever you like at this point. And that is it with the butter. It's very easy to put together as you can see. So now I'll be pouring the butter inside my prepared pan. So I just discovered I have some chopped pecans in the house. I'm not going to be folding that in. I'll just sprinkle that over my butter at this point for that little extra crunch. This will be going inside my 350 degrees preheated oven and I'll be baking this for about one hour, a little more or less, or till a skewer inserted in the middle of the bread comes out clear. So here is our freshly baked banana bread. It's so easy to put together. It's moist and it's very tasty. I do hope you give this a try and please let me know what you think about it. All the details for today's recipe can also be found in the description box below. Until next time, I'll talk to you shortly. Enjoy.